Hello everyone, and welcome to Limpo, a psychological horror game with strong elements of exploration and based on Finnish mythology. Now I'm really excited for this one because I always love exploring games that are from the lens of an unfamiliar culture in horror. Because I feel like it's so strange how, for all the infinite possibility of the supernatural and otherworldly, we tend to really only see the same few things shifted around, the same imagery, the same rules. And so to get into something that's truly not like anything I've experienced before, something that's truly unfamiliar, I think that's really where we need to be in horror. Lempo is probably not your average horror game. In it, you'll get a little lost, and there's a big emphasis on exploring and figuring out things yourself. Expect no hand-holding. Any one playthrough of Lempo is likely to be incomplete. If you want to delve deeper into the world, feel free to discuss things online and share your findings and experiences. The dark atmosphere of the game makes it susceptible to changes in ambient light of the room you play in. You may need to adjust your brightness depending on when you play. Okay, so this is really encouraging right from the get-go. It seems like there's a real emphasis on the experience of the player. I mean, that description under About the Game, it sort of makes me think that rather than just a game, it's almost sort of like a painting that wants you to study it. And if so, that's a really good way to go about it. Also, uh, before we get started, I want to give a big thank you to PID Games for uh, providing me with this review copy. Limpo, the evil principal, offspring of demons, same as Hisi in Peru. Under a love spell, men run and follow, to a maze where love and men turn hollow. Only a few can escape. Others fade away. Oh no, <laughs> now you're just already reminding me of the bride in Darkwood. Have you ever got lost in the woods? Even for a while. Like, at first you're in a place where you've been a hundred times. You know where you're coming from, and you know where you're heading. You can't even imagine getting lost in here. It doesn't even cross your mind. But then you see something interesting like a cute animal or a good mushroom spot, and you take a couple steps off the path. You take a photo or pick up the mushrooms, and when you turn back, everything looks different. Your heart skips a beat. What if you can't find your way back to the right path? Of course, this usually lasts only a minute, and you're back on track in no time. But sometimes it can take a while, and sometimes you get truly lost. That's when you call someone and they send rescue people to get you. What if they can't find you? What if you are so lost? It's impossible for them to find you. Do you believe in fantasy worlds? I didn't either. Until I found myself in one. The night started out as any night. I was the last to leave the office. Oh, this is neat. Ah, I always find it so much more effective when... Well, the horror begins from a spot of normalcy when we get to see a glimpse of the protagonist's life before things get started. It makes it feel like ending up in that situation was... 
our choice, that we go in with that regret of why did we do this? You can almost make a horror game in here, being the last one in the darkened office at night. Yeah, but it certainly goes a long way to setting the mood. Actually, I'm just realizing if we are to go missing in these woods, the last time they saw us will have been leaving us alone here. They'll have no idea what happened. Now, I know I'm talking a lot of analytics early on before I've even gotten started, but I really, it's so encouraging that it left me with so much to say. It's not about the paranormal in any large regard. It's just about, well, the nature of forests themselves. That relaxation can give way to utter panic in just a mere moment. Now, the forest really is the back rooms of real life, huh? A coffee cup. A cup with a picture of a pear on it. Not much to it. Okay, so we can pick up objects and examine them. You know, given this game's attitude towards exploration... What a week. You know, given this game's attitude towards exploration and this opening, I'm actually wondering if there isn't maybe some inspiration from Infra here. Uh, uh, we can pick up all these pear-shaped cups, but... Is there any reason why we'd want to do this? Ooh, food. Uh, I could go for some bananas. Oh, the graphics are pretty nice also. Although the building itself seems to be a little worse for wear, the uh, furnishings are quite nice. Very uh, modern casual. Did I just miss seeing something? Was there maybe something out the window? Can we... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's quite a that's quite a jump we got in our boots there. <laughs> all right, well, I guess that's all the better to uh, explore uneven terrain with. No, the door opened. And this little figurine was just left here. A toy dog with the name... Elizabeth written on the bottom. Uh, okay, maybe... Maybe it's not just getting lost on a whim of exploring. Maybe something is actually beckoning to us. Oh, is this actually the way we get home? Do we... Oh, there's a light moving around in the woods. Uh, a... A lighter is an infinite light source. Press V or 4. Oh, this is all we've got, huh? Our number 5 lighter? Whoa. Now, I don't know whether this game is going to go more the horror route or the whimsy route. But it seems to be leaning into whimsy. Then again, maybe that's the trap. Okay, let's get after you. Uh. And just like that, I was lost. Um. Uh. Oh no! I really, I turn around and I really can't find it. Oh come on! I can't even see the lights from the building. And just like that, indeed. Okay, now that is a neat little trick. I did feel it just for a couple of frames. Hitch. And good God, after that narration... Mushroom. Eating a mushroom will give you a little bit of vitality back, and they do glow in the dark. Oh, that red glow is pretty ominous, but it's actually helpful. Alright, I'll take that for later, and there's more in the distance. Huh, exploring off the beaten path... <laughs> See, the thing is, we know we have to do it, but they've shown how it can also be very dangerous. That is such a neat little trick after they'd already planted the idea in our head of how easy it is to get lost. Because we go into here thinking... Okay, I, I know I'm thinking about it, but I've got this. The building's right behind me and it's got porch lights, and then just like that... It really bugged me that I couldn't find the office. I was certain I hadn't wandered that far, and the forest around me didn't seem familiar at all. I soon started to realize that I wasn't just simply lost. 
I was in a whole other place. Resisting the dark forces of the forest is tiring and slowly reduces your vitality. Okay, so we can press tab and open up our inventory. Uh, we have a battery. Uh, one of these should give plenty of power to any suitable device. Uh, maybe we'll get a flashlight at some point. We've got the Elizabeth dog and two mushrooms. Elijah drew this a couple of years ago. Miranda helped with the labels, of course. Uh, so we've got a family. And who is this great-grandfather which towers over us? A tree of souls? Uh, all right. <laughs> Gonna have to explain that to me later. Ah, uh, Paul's gift lighter. We saw that name on the desk. A gift from work after being an outstanding employee for five years. And down there on the left is our vitality, presumably. Uh, represented in quite a grotesque, but potentially accurate way. Alright, so there's going to be actually quite a few mechanics to learn. Alright, um, if we're going to be led along like that, then I'm going to have to remember to go off the trail every once in a while. I can actually see another light over across the river. And another over there. Are we actually able to cross this any place? Or am I just meant to be moving along for now? Oh, there's a light over here. And another mushroom. I wonder if this isn't actually going to be, like, semi-open world. Uh, now these are some strange fences. They look to be made entirely out of wood. But lanterns hang here. Uh, maybe I should just be following that wisp. For now, anyway. One soul residue added. What do those do? <laughs> okay, wow, this game really meant it when it said we were free to explore. There's all kinds of stuff around. Uh, there's an icon here, but it doesn't seem to be allowing me to... Oh. I can snuff these out or light them. But why would I want to do that? Alright, I'm going to head back, follow the whisper now, see what the game wants to tutorialize me on. Then again, structures are always a good thing. Maybe I can knock on a door and ask for help. Oh, I really hope I'm not breaking the game by doing this. It's not a house, it's some kind of enclosure. And a ladder going down. Oh, it's some kind of tunnel entrance. What was that? Was that just like a sprite in the air that did something weird? Because for a second it looked like a head was rising up from the lip of this concrete. Alright, I'm going to follow that thing a little more. Try and remember that this is here, but... Uh, well, we already know how we're meant to feel about navigation in these woods. Now, I have to say, for as gorgeous as this game is, I mean, look at those trees against the sky... I really appreciate how the dark is actually dark, and it's running really, really well. However, uh, YouTube being YouTube, this might give me some difficulty with regards to, like, compression and such, so I might end up uh, increasing the brightness for your benefit. More lights off in the woods. So many things to be distracted by. Alright, Will of the Wisp, where are we going? Show me the way, unless you're leading me straight into the jaws of some ancient creature. In which case, show me a different way, please. This wasn't my idea of a family zone. Yeah, definitely not. This looks so rickety. And that's not a good well, sign. Old stroller. Oh, this isn't just any stroller. This is our son's. Small homemade teddy. Elijah had the same one when he was little. This is some kind of personal nightmare. It's trying to show me something. What are you? What the fuck? Who would do this? And why? Was this here before? 
You're gonna be sick. I feel like I would have noticed this. Am I just blind? Am I... Hang on, from that angle, would you be in shadow? I don't... Uh, I stumbled right over that. What are these, pigs? And what is this? Another soul residue. Where are we going? There's something off in the bushes over here. More of these. Uh, how quickly is our health diminishing? 81. So we've got time, depending on... I felt on... that all I could do was to keep moving. I'd eventually end up somewhere. Do you hear that? I think it's on my right somewhere. It sounds like a ringing payphone. Is that a phone? That looks like a light post. This is creepy. This is starting to remind me of like park ranger stories. Missing Sarah Davies, 19 years old. Okay, we'll take that with us and keep an eye out. I'll be honest, I was half expecting to see my own missing persons poster. Uh, let's get in here and just close this behind me. Somehow, this makes me feel safer and so much more vulnerable at the same time. Okay, let's answer that. Honey? Miranda? Paul? Are you there? Yeah, it's me. It's good to hear your voice. Oh, thank God. I, I thought I was going crazy. C could you please send someone? I'm lost in the forest, behind the office. Yes, the rangers are on the way. I was so worried when you didn't come home. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what happened. There was a weird light and suddenly I just didn't know where I was anymore. Calm down, honey. Just stay there and wait for the rangers, okay? Sit down and breathe. Miranda? Yes, honey? What is this phone? Where did you get this number? Don't worry, love. Just wait there and relax. Someone will come for you soon. S tell me how you got this number. This is just a phone in the middle of a forest. How can someone call here? How does this even work? Try to calm down, honey. Don't worry about it. We'll get you back home soon. Just stay there. I hung up the phone and decided that staying still was the last thing I was going to do. The voice was hers, but that couldn't have been her. My sanity was failing me. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Uh, now, do I just leave or do I... Do I just leave or do I wait in the dark somewhere and try to see what comes? Because my first thought is that something probably is coming for me, but it's not going to be park rangers. Not sure if I can hear something moving in the leaves behind me. Look at the way the moonlight penetrates those trees, casting that bluish glow on the ground. I'm going to get eaten while I'm here waiting. Uh, now, what is this? In here, anything I can find. Oh, a collapsed mine shaft. Is this really where I want to be? Oh, there's so much to find in here. Oh, uh, first of all, I just want to say I appreciate this so much, how it's actually giving us a whole forest to walk around in. Usually forests will really railroad you or limit the places you can go, but I could have taken off in any direction and found something. Pay six soul residue to open. Okay, so that's our mechanic. We have to walk around and find these things to unlock the different areas. I only have two soul residue, so for now we should keep moving. Ah, oh, that's really creepy. Give us that sense of relief, only for our own doubts to plague us. I mean, it's all we've got, but we have to cast it aside because we just know that can't be right. Now, I'm making a mistake probably right now by moving down to the river without any lights to guide me, like nothing in the distance. 
but what I'd really like to do is make my way back to that bridge and go back to that area we found that uh, had a ladder going down. I'll have to be really careful here stepping over the rocks. I imagine stepping into the water, if it'll let us, we'll get us swept away. There's a pig's trough here as well. Why would they just be kept right here? This is clearly designed to torment me, but is it just random because I was left alone, or is there something that I'm paying for? Once we get to around maybe 40-50% vitality, I'm going to start eating some of these mushrooms uh, to see how much they actually restore. It's a good thing the moon is so bright tonight, or there would be literally zero ambient light. I almost can't describe how much I appreciate getting this atmosphere down right. It's to the point where just being in this situation, well, it's an experience all its own, and it hardly even has to do anything. I think over here is where it was, yes. Okay, so it's not going to go changing the terrain on me at the very least. Let's hop up and over. And see if we can't make our way down. Oh, I really hope I don't go plummeting. Oh, is there... Uh, is there something over this? Well then, at the risk of going off the intended path, let's start following this one this way. Uh, fork in the road here. It's all random, but at this point we are officially in uncharted territory. However, it looks like there's another one of those light poles in the woods over there. I just about lost it behind the rock. Oh, there's a whole bunch along the cl cliffs here. Alright, what are you? Only those who give in at least a little can see the truth. Am I meant to actually succumb to my insanity to an extent? So how do we get up there? Oh, well, we have to do some platforming. There's more to see in this direction. Oh, this is a little stone lantern box. Is there some reason why we would want to snuff out these candles? These seem to be some kind of bioluminescent mushrooms. What is this path leading up into the mountains? I swear I'm hearing whispering. It's you! Elizabeth says, You came! Yippee! My name is Elizabeth. The old man who lived here never played with me. Are you a child? Can you play? Let's go fight hide and seek. I hide first. I swear the light only made some twinkling noise, but somehow I understood it perfectly. So this is like a playful spirit. a combination lock. Noses, right fingers, eyes. Huh. Uh, assuming this is very general and not based on something else I'm supposed to find, maybe 152 or 142. Let's so control it directly. There we go. That is <laughs> really not secure at all, I must say. Oh, and that is quite a gnarly looking key. Looks like it belongs to a witch or something. I wonder, do we... It might be against the point of the game, but I have to check. Do we get a map? Uh, not that I can see. Alright, not that I'd really expect one in this game. 
There we are, and now we can use you. Press E to unlock. Huh. <laughs> this place is so creaky and rickety. I am going to close this door behind me and have a look around. Wind is suddenly picking up in a big way. Feels like this place could go sliding down the cliff at any time. Oh, I can sleep here! Uh, but do I want to do that? Will that maybe restore my vitality uh, even without mushrooms? A couple of photographs on the floor. Oh, are these maybe supposed to be hints? That looks like a neon sign on some type of structure with some other light in the background. And this looks to be... Is that a person? Like some hooded figure? Oh, it actually says a description. I missed that. Uh, a dark figure standing on a flower field. And is that a grave? Alright, so we'll have to keep a lookout for those things. Ah, oh, this place is a gold mine of information. Maybe this was someone else who ended up trapped here? Unknown Journal, page 1. It seems someone has lived here for quite some time. Seems odd that I wouldn't know there's a cottage this near the office. I think you can give up on the idea of this being anywhere near the office. The time of day doesn't seem to change here. I've decided to start counting my sleeps. I don't know how many times I've slept before I started counting. Maybe nine? It's now sleep two officially. Sleep three. I met a man. He doesn't talk much, but seems to have been here a long time. I gathered that he was once a sailor of some kind. At first I was happy to see someone. But he can't help me. He said there's only one way out. Wouldn't say what it is. He has a nice dog. Sleep four. <laughs> the dang dog stole my compass. The sailor didn't care when I told him. Fortunately, this place is so small, I can quite easily find my way around without it. Stupid dog. Hooga booga booga. What is this? A map! Okay, uh, and we can press M to show the map. Okay, I spoke too soon. And it will show me new landmarks. Okay, so it will not show me my location. We still have to rely on landmarks, which is actually good. I was hoping that it wouldn't, uh, that it wouldn't just show me everything I need to know. So learning the lay of the land is actually an important part of this experience. And it seems like we're mostly in, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not oriented with north at the top, but, uh, it seems the bottom left corner is more or less where we've been. But there's more to see. Uh, grilling up some mushrooms, I see. Probably not much else to eat around here. Haven't actually seen any other animals. Uh, another battery. Although to what, we've yet to figure. We can light that candle. How does this place look? You know? Actually quite cozy. Uh, the inhabitant must be gone, so I guess this is meant to serve as our home base. Oh, this is so cool. I, I, I love it. This is creepy and comfy. It's that mix between constantly feeling like something's looking over your shoulder and having that degree of insulation. I'm safe in my warm, cozy little bubble, uh, but I still wonder what might be peering at me through the window. Uh, I cannot, I, hang on, I cannot read that without my lighter. Uh, a note about a stranger. An elderly wanderer came by and knocked at the door last night. His jaw was covered by a large white beard, and his eyes by the hood of his cape. Maybe that's the figure in the photograph? He smelled like conifers, liquor, and honey, and didn't speak much. I offer you my mother's protection... After that, he pushed me aside and stepped in, and waved his hand a few times next to a wall, chanting words that made no sense to me. I thought he might be on drugs, so I didn't try to stop him. Those people can do anything if provoked. 
After maybe a minute, he was done and left without a word. This morning, a glowing picture had appeared on the wall. This only adds to the strange things happening here. But the encounter with the man somehow made me feel safe. So, maybe this hut is under some kind of protection spell. A and what we're learning is that there are other figures out here. Ugh, I keep forgetting to get the, get the thing out. Sleep 31. I don't know if the entity is just toying with me, but I found some pretty convincing looking lab equipment in a cave south of here. Could it be that someone knows about this place and has even managed to study it? That would mean that there's most likely a safe way out, too. Could something like this have remained a secret? I'll investigate further tomorrow. What's the entity? Sleep 32. Looks like there's not been anyone on the site for some time. Sleep 33. I found a second metal ear that looks like it could fit into the stone door outside. It was in that cave. I'm gonna use it now in case it's one of those disappearing things, so things disappear. The code to the door was written on a document. 4499. Oh, so that's interesting. We're actually benefiting from the discovery of the one who came before me. Someone who was here for quite a while. But it doesn't seem, at least for now, that we have any way to mess with this. Should I try sleeping? <laughs> I get the impression that I really should. You try to get some sleep, but it's difficult to relax here. Your sleep is restless. Sleeping makes you an easy target for Lempo! Oh, I didn't get to read the rest of that! Okay, this is actually too critical to miss. Uh, I just checked tape and it says, uh, you heal fully, but you lose a little max vitality. Every time this guy slept, he was actually making things harder for himself. And what happens when we lose that? Uh, do these actually increase max vitality? Uh, it just says it'll give you a little bit back. I don't know about increasing it. Okay, so sleeping, not what we want to do. Very real cost to doing so. Uh oh my god. Okay, we have just jumped straight off the cliff from whimsical to horrifying. What was that? Is this where you were? Oh, you've been reduced to an ash pile. Flashlight. An old battery-operated flashlight seems to work, and we can activate it with three. Okay, that's much better as far as lighting goes, but it's limited. How limited, I'm not sure. I imagine that light on the back probably functions as a battery indicator. Okay, well I've... there you are. Maybe the Lempo is the force that is draining our vitality as we go? I've gotten pretty used to using the lighter, so maybe I'll keep using that for now and save the flashlight for other situations. Uh, but from up here, we can get a pretty decent view at what's around and grab another of these things and... the remains of another victim. Cabin lighter. It looks like a small cabin with a window. Uh, oh, lighters. And we can press E to use. Oh, okay, I see. So it's just like a cosmetic change. I guess the idea being that if we're going to be looking at it all the time, we might as well. Although I do wonder if they're not a little different in terms of, like, stats, maybe? I'm not sure. In any case... <laughs> I guess they remind me of different aspects of my life. This reminds me of uh, my new home. And the other lighter reminds me of my old one. All right, let's get back this way. I don't know how much fall damage we can take. Eh. 
and see about going after that little sprite thing. I'm real spooked out about what might be out here. We've yet to meet whatever the primary danger is. Where are you going? Every once in a while, I think I hear like a skittering of something behind me. But I want to try and keep up with this. You're luring me right back to here, which, again, I really do think is going to be some kind of endgame content. I didn't find a proper hiding place yet. I want to go again. Is there some benefit to following you around? I mean... <laughs> Maybe it's just a red herring. Maybe I should have realized by now that following these things around is foolish, but I just can't help but be curious. Are you taking me on a world tour? What is this? What are these things on the ground? Some kind of, like, snakes? Pouring blood from the fountain. Serpent's Trial Stone. When snakes have their trials in the spring, they hold these stones in their mouths. If loaded with snake blood, the stone can give back your strength. Filling the stone consumes soul residue. Okay, maybe we'll leave that for now. I don't know if these are going to be limited use, but we can replenish ourselves from here. At the cost of feeling that we're making some kind of deal with the devil. I hadn't even recognized before that these were ash piles. Presumably, the remains of those who reached the bottom of their vitality. And reaching that point does seem to cause them tremendous pain. It's like they were burned, like, all over. Even that their flesh was just... Dissolving... Well, that scared the crap out of me for no reason. The shell. Looks like there's some kind of walkway moving around this thing. Is this some kind of control panel for the lights? It keeps telling me that there's something out here, but I've yet to realize what that thing is. The biggest scare so far... <laughs> well, the biggest scare so far has been one of the so-called Lempo's... <laughs> victims. Which is quite a way to start. What are you? A cynic. Ah, fresh soul. You have that newborn smell, get comfy, there's no going back. We're all here for good. Stuck until Lempo has eaten all there is to eat. And we'll be nothing but dry strings. Literally. Huh, so you can offer insight as to what's actually going on here. You're what becomes of those who get lost here. And we are food for this so-called Lempo. Now, see, that's the thing. That's part of why I love doing this, is because when it comes to creatures that I'm familiar with, I know all the rules. But here, well, I'm experiencing it the way it's probably meant to be experienced, the way these things get their reputation in the first place. Oh, this is something that was in the photograph. Is this that research station he was talking about? We can pull that lever. Maybe that'll affect these platforms. There we go. So these are meant to make sure that something that can't pull a lever can't make it up here. But why, what would be out here that would make them want to construct something like this? Ooh. And that is an elevator which can take us up even further. Have I just screwed myself? Oh no, we can bring it down from here. Uh, the main elevator is broken. Instructions on how to use the backup. The elevator step is broken. Thanks for fixing things, George. 
So I rigged one of the other steps to function as a backup. Just use the usual lever to control the platforms, and then use the backup here. Let's hope this is only a very temporary solution. Sorry once again for the inconvenience. Okay, so on the one hand, it seemed like this is a place that we're whisked away to when Lempo needs to feed. Uh, however, it seems then that that's not really the case, is it? That there are remnants of people here that don't have to do with this. Okay, so let's see what you work like. And maybe I'm supposed to discover this before I go trying to use this thing. I mean, it did say very broken. Okay. Oh, there's another note. A reminder. Important. Always remember to lower the first steps after using them. We don't want any creatures getting to the upper controls. Creatures, right. I mean, presumably we can keep ourselves safe just by raising this one, right? Unless it can make that jump, which maybe it can, honestly. There's that one step that's missing. Okay, it seems like that's got us most of the way. Alright, I was getting really worried here. I was about to abandon this puzzle because I see that we're losing our vitality while we do this. I have no idea how punishing the saves will be. Use that. And yeah, this is where we have to use that for the rest of the way, presumably. Do I like this? Oh, I see. It lowered these things. Which means that we can then head back down. Bump, bump, bump. Let's not rely on bumps for these last couple, because I don't trust those gaps. Those are down. Excellent. And we can use this. That wasn't too difficult. Uh, but there's... Uh, but there's still the matter of this guy. I just gotta be brave. <laughs> well, I will say one thing. Thank you for having that line of dialogue so I don't tear my hair out trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here, but this is the kind of thing I'd normally quick save before attempting. Okay, bar's solid. Yeah. And yeah. Oh god, that was horrifying. See, when I go into pause menu, it doesn't say I can load game doesn't say I can load game, which sort of makes me wonder if it hasn't not saved at all. Hup. 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 And hip. Okay, thank you for letting me grab. Oh, what is the purpose of this place, and why would it be made like this? Well, you surely took your time. Even the fisherman's dog found me faster. Don't you think this rock is a bit weird? I think it's weird. Dang, that is one smart and acrobatic dog. Uh, okay, we can head back down that way. Ooh, and there's more inside. A whole trust structure within. Is this some kind of, like, geological research site? I mean, it's... Look at you. And there's something in your hands. An offering, maybe a shrine to some kind of ancient deity? And game saved for the first time. What would have happened if I had fallen off somewhere? Oh, and from here, I can see something in the distance. That actually looks like the glow from, like, the windows of some kind of church. Okay, we're definitely going to want to make our way down there. Actually, this is a really good spot to observe from, but in the darkness, I can't see all that much. Just that. Maybe that's our ultimate goal? Uh, but we have a much simpler one right now. 
I remember hoping so bad that there would be someone inside the shell. I would be in trouble for being somewhere I clearly shouldn't be, but at least I wouldn't be alone. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. There's a very fine point where your fears shift from being worried about getting caught to being worried about getting out alive. Those are not fun moments. Where somehow your old fears become your new hopes. Is this going to be an elevator going downward? Probably don't want to hop this railing here. Oh, it looks so much deeper than I imagined. Alright, well, let's do this. Look, we can see that machinery grinding away. The air in the cave was damp and somehow light. It was like gravity wasn't working right. Man, with your vertical leap, how would you even know? Let's step off. This is a very haphazard setup. It doesn't even look like something a real research team would set up, or at least I don't think so. But then again, this is something unexpected entirely. Is this maybe... I really, really hope that this door code is what we saw in that note. Oh, we can catch just a glimpse beyond. Oh, and I've just realized I can press Q to see our UI. Alright, at 50%, let's try eating one of these mushrooms. Gives us only 15, not a whole lot. Uh, let's have a look at that document. Alright. 4499. There we go! Oh, that is so cool. Did I mention I'm digging this game? It's so unexpected in so many ways. Hello? Is someone here? Oh my god, what what is this place? And what is that? I really didn't expect to be making the jump to sci-fi in this. Uh, note. Someone is worried about a missing oxygen tank container. One canister is unaccounted for, most likely due to someone failing to report when changing the canister. And it's not that hard, people. Use the list. You know, these notes are definitely giving me uh, infra vibes in their passive aggressiveness. Oh, this place is completely falling apart, or was it maybe sabotaged? Another battery. Pretty soon we'll be able to start... What is this? Some kind of stone or maybe even fungus that they've grown in here? <laughs> this has almost got shades of SCP thrown in, like they're trying to study this place. ST3000 life form detector. Test report regarding item 4658. Item 4658. The levitating cube. In the center of the cave is a cube made of unknown material, probably some metal that seems to be floating in the air. There's an electrical field of some kind surrounding it. When we started measuring it three weeks ago, the pulsating force was initiated once every 63 seconds. For a couple of days, the interval stayed constant, but after that it's been slowly happening more and more. At the time of this writing, the pulse interval is 55 seconds. The electric force around the cube has not changed, but it remains impossible to penetrate. The force destroys every instrument we take too close. A guard even tried to shoot it, but we were able to determine from a slow-motion video capture that the bullet vaporized before contact with the rock. We believe there to be something inside the cube. Our initial measurements suggest some kind of a mechanism but the force around it makes research challenging. Okay, well, this seems like a heapin' helpin' a not-my-problem, to be honest. Oh, the fact that there's a ticking clock on all this... I'm really worried for how this is gonna play out, because just the fact that there's a ticking clock on this makes me worried that we can lock ourselves out of the game. I just kinda have to have faith 
based on the fact that everything so far is quite well designed. Can we at least get this close? Oh. Is that a lab coat amid this? A flashlight and, and more soul residue. Is that all blood? Ow! Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, and I'm out. Okay, so up here is also too close, even where I was just standing. Am I dead? Is this heaven? I don't remember much of my first time in Limbo, but I think it was pretty empty and bright as hell. Uh, who are you? Headless. Every death takes its toll here. You return as something less. And without your essence, you return only back to your prison. How cryptic. So this game really does punish you for failure, and I'm worried it'll stack up into like a death spiral where you can't recover. That was Elijah's doll. But what would have happened if we had kept going forward? Uh, you can't permanently die in this place that I won't try to pronounce. You'll spawn back to the grave statue near the last activated lantern with all your items in progress intact. Okay. So that's not too punishing, but what do you mean by return with less of myself? I'm gonna... I don't know if that really translates to gameplay or if it's just flavor text, but I will certainly be uh, more careful from now on. Gotta wait for you to come back. Alright, so instead of going down to whatever that thing is... Man, how did they even build this? And I guess the increased frequency also increased the range over time. Well, let's go this way, where it seems nature is actually starting to reclaim. Okay, now this is interesting. Look at that flashlight interaction with the environment. That is gorgeous. Ready or not, take note. Glowing rock. A small piece of a glowing rock. Provides very little light, but it's better than nothing. If it's quiet around, you can almost hear the stone hum. Ah, use the glowing crystal, it can reveal hidden secrets. Listen to the hum it makes when something interesting is near. Ah, oh, that is so cool, how the different light sources have different uses in gameplay. The glowing rock turned out to not be very radioactive. It might still be wise to keep it in the container until we get it back to HQ. Yeah, but they never had the chance, suggesting that whatever happened here was very sudden. The color of the rock is not stable, and we still don't know what it reacts to. But so far, we've measured pretty much all wavelengths between 300 and 500. I wonder, I mean, if this is the paranormal playground of some entity. Maybe... maybe time isn't exactly linear here. I mean, maybe this could look like something a thousand years old, but also... <sighs> something from my time period? Doesn't seem to be any kind of jerkish thing in the center, but we'll want to be wary just in case. Uh, and we can sleep here as well. However, I am not going to be doing that. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be careful with the flashlight because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to run out of batteries. Can't read these reports on the floor. It's no kind of lab, just a rest and relaxation area, and you know, with the design of this furniture, I can't help but think of the office I came from. Almost feels like this place has invaded my own life. Well, let's have a look around. Another battery. I'm sure I can start using the flashlight more now. But I want to find this, uh, this entity detector. You know, I did say that it seemed like whatever happened here happened all at once, but 
with the way these chairs are arranged, all these snacks and drinks laid out on the table, and all this overgrowth coming up over it, it just gives an image of a whole lot of people who were just waiting around to see what would happen. Ah, oh, <laughs> I found the missing canister. Now this door is locked unless we can find a key card. So maybe we'll be able to discover that somewhere? I mean, if they were to be anywhere, they would be down here, right? So, okay, I'm guessing that there's a key card in here and an actual key that I need somewhere around here. Question is, how do I deal with this? Oh, now that we're getting into these puzzles, I'm a little bit more worried because I can't really experiment. I mean, if I put myself in danger, I could lose something permanently. Wait, actually, if I look at this... Yes, these shields protect me, so what I need to do... is time it. Run, 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 run! Oh, God, but, uh... How far away do I need to be? To not be affected by it. Run, 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 run! Okay, I see. Past that point should be okay. Oh, this is dangerous. Another of you, but... Huh, that's weird. This is like a plant, but... I think something's getting to me. This looks like a plant, but it almost looks like a person, like, slumped over against the railing with their legs splayed out. Last message. I'm not sure who did what, but somehow I think two people got caught in the rock blast. There was nothing left to identify them with. Just blood everywhere. I don't know if the rock did something unusual or was or was some equipment misplaced, but our traverse device was destroyed in the blast as well. So we have no way of getting home or contacting base. Stop that. We've traveled to this dimension and back so many times that it started to feel ordinary. You knew about this place. I forgot how groundbreaking technology we had and how impossible it is to replace without help from outside. There's no food. The water in the shell tastes like rust. I can hear creatures every time I close my eyes. I don't think I'll make it. If anything, you're probably good for bed stuffing. Feathers. And quite large feathers at that. What are you? You look organic! Hang on. Have I found the tomb of some sleeping god? Alright, uh... Of course I need a key to activate this. Why wouldn't I? Are these things that we maybe shouldn't reunite with you? I, I, I honestly keep wanting to just stare at this thing and try and understand what it is I'm seeing. Looks like it's wearing some kind of, like, bird mask, but is otherwise humanoid, wearing a cape of feathers. Almost like it made some final walk through this throne and then sat down. But what'll happen when it's reunited with its tools? Go, 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 go. We gotta see the other side. faster, move faster, move faster. Uh, does it say something there? Those look like cave paintings. A bunch of people standing in a line. Actually, you know what? Not unlike the, uh, the picture given to us by our son. Is there someplace else we can make it? Oh, that might be easier said than done. Run, 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 run. Uh, that was not... Ah, uh, a key card! Opens the electric lock. Okay. We'll want to fully explore a place. I don't even... I don't even have the time to begin to interpret that. All I know is that... Uh, those whispers are still in my head. Run, 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 run! 
last lip, you just make it. And let's go. <sighs> this game, it manages to be slow paced and just terribly exciting. Uh, you use there. Ah, and from here we can grab a suit. Uh, something tells me that phone isn't going to be able to call out. Uh, key. Alright, so we had a place you'll probably work for the drawer. Note two. Seems serious. The matter has become unstable and we can no longer work on it. Yeah, you're telling me. Uh, but it, it doesn't seem we can take that suit for ourselves. It's been a week now since your last contact. It's becoming undoubtedly clear that something's gone wrong, but we're working on the assumption that you're still alive and well, and uh, rest assured that we're doing all that we can here to get you out of there ASAP. Now please, whatever you do, don't leave the shell. Do not leave the shell. We might only be able to activate the connection for a brief moment, and it's immensely important that you stay nearby. We hope to see you all soon. Stay strong. So they were able to receive messages in, but not send them out. There was a rescue effort, but who knows if they were actually able to get anyone out or not. Probably not. And something just occurred to me shell like an eggshell maybe that thing isn't a dormant god maybe it's a junior one that never hatched or maybe it's just yet to hatch uh, bugs crawling all over this toilet with plants growing out of it and well, maybe that's what became of the last person here. Now, how much soul residue do we have? Eight. We can open up the mine if we so choose. Uh, I really hope I'm not leaving anything behind. Well, let's open this top drawer before we go. Doesn't fit. Uh, maybe it goes to the maybe it goes to the other one by the tools. Which means we're going to have to run through here again. Yeah, run, 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 run. And safe. I really do worry about awakening you. We're going to have to make a choice here, aren't we? A choice at what we want to give you? What happens if we make the wrong one? Well, it seems we can't actually pick this one up. Much too big and heavy, I'm sure. Trident. A broken old trident. Makes my fingers tingly when touched, but the back of my neck is tingly as well, but from something else entirely. I honestly expected to turn around and see you looking at me. Okay. There you go! That stopped the cube. That was the key! Well, thank you, old one. Well, if you are truly helping me, and this isn't a curse rather than a blessing... I, I really feel like I'm having to learn to operate on a logic alien to my own. Maybe taking that thing away from you was the scientist's mistake and they just couldn't make the connection. The gore made me nauseous. It was obvious that something horrible had happened to the people that I was hoping to find. fire extinguisher. Maybe they were trying to put this thing out. Like, maybe something catastrophic happened. T. 
two things to insert into here. Oh. What does that actually do? Looks like there's a cave that goes off this way. You again. Have you got something smart to say? It knows you're here. I feel it. It's mad. Would you bring me with you, please? Uh, I suppose if you like. Oh, I don't like this. There will still be more to find in this cube. I can feel it. Yeah. I mean, clearly it's a puzzle to be solved, but is there, like, something to do with here? This is sealed off, but it looks like there's a ladder to the surface. You know what? I bet, I bet that this is where that other thing we found goes to, the one with the glass case over it. This battery is actually wearing out fairly quickly. There's another one of these things where we can restore our vitality. Map updated once more, and we can save. Can we actually climb up here? Is there anything in your hands? Nope. Yeah. Well, I do like the idea of being held by someone bigger than me, but it's not really the time or place. Let's figure out this cube, shall we? That it's separate rings that move independent of each other. Problem is, I have no idea how you actually are meant to go. Oh, it just equips itself. All right, well, maybe if we have a look around, we can figure this... Oh, I see. Oh, that is so cool. All right, uh, so whatever we've got to do, it's based on this. It's actually a little bit too glowy for my taste. Uh, but how do we arrange it? Maybe, maybe the cave paintings can act as a clue. Uh, and now that I'm looking at this one, this seems to be maybe people standing around and worshipping the shell? I see. Maybe this is actually that meteor that fell from space in the very beginning. It arrived and split open and let something out. It actually tells the whole story of this place. Oh, there's so much reflection, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Maybe that's not right. There we go. I think that's right on that end. Which means that we've got to do it like this. The spokes are a little bit different from each other. But... You know, when I left for work this morning, I didn't expect to be doing Indiana Jones stuff, but I'm kind of glad that I am. Uh... Thor's lifting set? Yes, I know it's Finland. A gold handle. Looks like one of those weights at the gym. <laughs> Feels like one, too. This thing must weigh at least 10 kilograms. Well, we'll just carry that around. Why not? Gold handle, which I bet goes in here. Let's just turn that and unassemble Satan's Rubik's Cube. What did that do? Oh, it opened this. And from in here, we can access Satan's safety deposit box. Strange metal ear. It's cold and heavy. That was the other thing. We needed one of two to open something. I, I would have to consult the document to figure out exactly what, but... Okay, we're on to something. We're on to something. Oh, this game is so much fun. Such creepy and comfy exploration. Such otherworldly characters and mythos. Occasionally genuinely terrifying with those dashes of SCP and body horror. And just this, like, old world charm to it. Got anything to say, Elizabeth? 
And this is now opened up, allowing us to leave. I'm noticing that there's a lot of, like, anti-frustration features in this game. Because anything that, like, would have annoyed me in other games is actually just going so smoothly and so intuitively. For example, I there were probably a couple of times where I would have assumed that I have to leave and, you know, come back later. But there's actual dialogue and physical barriers preventing you from doing so. Thus reassuring you that, no, 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 you're, you're on the right track, just keep going. It says it's not holding your hand, but it sort of subtly does, in a good way. And yep, it was- <gasps> Woe is right! Uh, run? Run, right? I mean, run? Tap when running to sprint, it's faster, but will make you tired more- Wait, tap R when running to sprint! Go, 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 go! What's happening? What's happening? I can't see anything! Oh, maybe that's the idea that in a blind panic you end up lost in the woods. Go, 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 go. Oh, where, 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 where do I even go? When my vision narrows like that, does it mean something? Light, 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 light. Here. Where do I go? This way, was it a left to the cabin? I'm so tired. Across the bridge, maybe? Can it get us here? Oh! No, move, 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 move. Keep moving, keep moving. We can't stop now. Should not have looked back. Go. Maybe I should have gone down more? Light over there. Light over there. We have to go for it. We have to. There's something. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, please. Keep moving, please. Keep moving, please. It's just narrowing more and more. What, what what am I meant to do? I'm dead? What was I actually meant to do? Just get back to the cabin? And now I'm back here. Really, simply dying was no escape. I'm afraid to go... Because we're dealing with death here, I'm afraid to find out what happens if I go over there. And maybe it's just like a quick game. Before I go back up there, it may not do that again, but uh, checking our map, it seems like the best way to the cabin would actually be to go s to the left. To the west, really. So maybe that's what we'll do. I also, I did have a look in the guide, and it says, Signs of Ilmatar. It didn't give me any advice on how to run away from that thing, but it just says the shining hands of Ilmatar are a sign of safety and protection. So, I don't know. I mean, I tried getting close to the light to see if it would ward that thing off, the one that was hanging on the bindle stick. That didn't do much for me. So, I guess that thing is this so-called Lempo. And it wasn't there this time, but I really have truly no idea how I'm meant to evade that thing. I mean, it just was right on my heels the entire time. Hello. You must be what he was talking about in the document. A door. And there seems to be two objects missing. Right, but didn't he say he had already found the one? Oh, uh, well, we can place you there. Now I've just got to figure out what he did with the other. That's the thing, between death and sleeping, which is worse? I wonder, is this thing just out here now? Will it chase us at scripted intervals, or what? Will our light potentially draw it to us? I just don't know, and that not knowing is honestly a pretty significant part of the experience at this point. I keep checking the map is if it'll actually help me to get any closer if I don't have anything for reference. But that overturned minecart can only mean one thing. 
Well, let's try it. Uh, first, checking my map to see if there's any other landmarks I may have missed. The whole northeast is basically unexplored territory. So we're going to want to be checking that out. But first... What do you guys do for me? This actually looks like maybe some kind of sarcophagus. And if it is, the inhabitant is long gone. Maybe just storage. Bell. A tiny metal bell. It will keep bears away when wandering in the forest. If you hear the bell ring, something dangerous is close. Works again after a short while. Thank you for the example. Now, what I'm realizing is that because of the open-ended nature, your path through the game could actually vary depending on how you explore, right? Let's keep looking around. Might as well use these flashlight batteries since I'm not really going to use them elsewhere. Oh, but here we come to the river that separates the center of the map. Can't hurt to look around just a little bit more, and I'm immediately rewarded. These things don't supply much, but they can help you out in a pinch. Absolutely gorgeous game, this. I just had another look at the guide, and what it said is that uh, we do actually lose max vitality on death. However, uh, we can regain it at those, uh, at those snake shrines which I had missed before. So it's not exactly a death loop. But still, we're moving into the unknown now. Every time I come across like a flat cliff face, I think I'm coming onto something uh, maybe dangerous. But here, it seems we find nothing but the fence at the edge of the place. But, of course, a fence can't keep an Elder God in. What do we find here? Oh, you could actually get really screwed over in a chase this way if you're trying to get to something that's over here. The moon can also act as a compass for us. Very, very faint, but I'm hearing some ungodly screaming from off in the very distance. And a cliff straight down into the waters below. Elizabeth, is that you? Enjoying the view too, huh? Yeah, I know, it's quite a pretty sight, or it would be if it weren't for the circumstances. You got something to say? Scared soul. It's him, the man with a raincoat carrying a bucket filled with rotting fish. You're not Elizabeth, you're, well, a more anchored soul. That once again leaves us at square one. Maybe somewhat counterintuitive of me to, uh, have the flashlight on like this while searching for lights, but well, I need the comfort and the lighter isn't doing it for me lately. I certainly recognize the danger, but this isn't a road. Uh, I feel like this whole end of the map is... Uh, not only unexplored, but also fewer landmarks. Never mind, I spoke too soon. And another soul down there. Use two soul residue as fuel. Well, what will that actually do? That's the last of my soul residue. You stop getting tired. So I guess while I'm resting here, maybe I don't lose vitality? Oh, and game saved. I can save here. All right, let's continue hitting these different things, hitting landmarks, and that'll make it ooh, much easier for us to navigate. We can get something else from right here. 
You're a big pile of soul. All right, soul residue, soul residue, and three soul residue. Bringing us immediately back up to five. That one really was a sarcophagus for victims of this place. The ones who just turned to ash when Lempo is done with them. You start getting tired again. That's what this place is. It's just a machine designed to wear you down. What is this? Some kind of... Oh, a lantern. All right, let's continue to search. Another one of those lights. I wonder if the color doesn't actually make a difference. This place seems a lot more degraded. Like it's a trail, but it's given way to dips and erosion and pools of water. Benjamin, come, listen. Am I following you? Ah, oh, so there are other characters capable of moving about. What is this? This looks almost like the key that we used to open that thing in the, uh, in the shell. You hear it? Stay quiet and listen. The ocean doesn't care. Well, I do hear whispering. Is that maybe the sign that it's time for our handy-dandy glow rock? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, well, we can actually see that here anyway. Alright, so we need to essentially translate this, I guess. Or maybe find the rest of these pieces? Hmm. This might be a difficult task. And another save. There you are down there. And you know what? This looks... Almost walked straight into that in the tall grass. Sailor's Ledge. Look at this. This also looked like the place where the hooded figure was photographed. My son had always loved swimming. And for a passing moment, the calming sound of waves pushed aside the anxiety and brought memories of Elijah. Until I woke up to the reality, I shouldn't be hearing waves anywhere near my office. Yeah, you're a long way from Kansas. You probably should have picked that up by now. It's like... It's almost like being on the ocean floor in this dark night with the bottom all glowing. Is that a hammock? We can sleep here, but I'm trying to avoid doing such things. The captain goes down with the ship. Why was I left alive? Travel west and save yourself. I'll go east and see if the sun still rises there. Time to learn more about that companion. Pipe. It's as if it was made yesterday. So smooth and shiny. It smells like burnt tobacco. Sailor's Diary page. He seemed to be quite obsessed with some stone that fell from the sky. It doesn't leave me alone, the stone. It whispers to me. It wants me to open it. It fell from the sky as a ball of fire. My ears were ringing the next day still. I can't sleep a full night without it waking me. It tries to tell me something, that black block of rock. It's no stone I've ever seen before. It had a picture on the front when it fell, but it was rather shattered. 
I managed to copy it before it crumbled. You're talking about the one that's up on the hill. Uh... This is what it... Oh, musical notes to accompany it. And you're a broken accordion. I'm just imagining this thing being one of the only things that can still bring you joy while you're trapped here, and oh, the heartbreak when it finally breaks. An old rum bottle. There seems to be a note inside. Is this a suicide note? I stared at the sea. I cut through the fog. I crossed the forests, I climbed the hills, I tasted life, and it tasted good. Back I came, it won't let loose, hear the waves, they call my name, fear not, I'm coming home. Pay respects? Sure. Oh. Did that bird just drop that? That seagull left something for me, almost like an echo of the person that was here before. Well, at least it didn't make me press F. Compass. And it's so old that it feels a bit brittle in my hand. It seems to be in working order, though. The metal back is cold and rough. Huh, so we've got the compass, and now I guess we can use that to see our direction. Uh, just press C, and we can see the direction. Excellent, that is so useful. Uh, thank you, old sailor, for one last favor. Me unto. And some handwritten notes. Yeah, I know nothing about music. Okay, that's actually re really reassuring, because I was worried... I was worried that I would need some kind of uh, knowledge that I don't actually have to solve this. This is the grave that that figure was kneeling over. I hadn't even realized that before. Oh. Oh, it's the sailor's dog. I guess when he lost that, he just couldn't go on anymore. Unto. Oh, I see. I see now. Let's start thinking about solving this puzzle. Such a wide variety of emotions it's managed to pack into this journey. I mean, it's just me getting lost after work, and yet... Somehow, this walk through the forest is so full of impactful stories. Even without meeting another soul, except for the briefest of moments. These things look like crabs that crawled in here. One, two, three. Maybe we just see what's down here. But honestly, I'm so low on vitality that I'm probably going to end up sleeping first. Another one of you. Uh, this looks to be some kind of ancient crypt. We can make our way up here. So what I'm sort of realizing is that the symbols on one side can sort of combine with these to make certain shapes. But I'm just, I'm um, having real trouble understanding how to actually parse this, and how this fits into that. See, the problem I'm having right now is, I don't know if this is a logic puzzle, or if there's something I'm missing. Like, do I need to fill in the rest of this, or what? Like, E, O, and K, but then these things? Oh, we can open the drawer, I hadn't even seen that. Small wooden music box. The handle looks delicate, but turns effortlessly. Okay, we've got that, but what can we do with it? 
You said you had managed to draw a picture of it, but... Oh, I see! You carved it into the bottom! Okay! Oh man, I... Real lucky that I saw that. Okay, so it's like some kind of... Grid. It will probably help me to translate, but I'm not quite sure how. So we've got that OKE indicating that this is some kind of Rosetta Stone. Oh, I get it. So this would be a cross. This is five across. This is five up and down. It's a grid. So that's the far right column and the bottom vertical column. So, far right, bottom vertical, that's S, right? Never mind me, I just spent an embarrassingly long time turning the wrong one. Uh, now these, these will be the same one, so that's the dash line and the triangle. So that's one down, and once more, all the way on the right. There's gotta be a U here, yes, yes. Uh, which means we could brute force this one, but where's the fun in that? I love the puzzles in this game so much. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, this is a review copy, so I don't even have the benefit of uh, being able to Google a guide. All right, so what were you? You're the triangle, um, that triangle, so four down. And the circle, so uh, one from the right. Four down, and one from the right, M. So here we go. It's set to Wumbo when we really need it on Mini. I am so excited by this game. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Uh, and we get the other ear, which means we can access that place by the cabin. Which means I should maybe be worried about being intercepted in the near future. Sure. something there. Yep, that's a ding. That's a ding. That's a ding. Leave, 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 leave. Oh, I just saw that figure just like standing in the darkness with its head bowed. Go, 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 go. Back onto the path. Back onto the path. I don't even know where I'm going. The sound of flies buzzing behind me. Go, 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 go. Go. I can't move any faster than this. Game, it's not letting me move any faster. I'm dead. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Seriously, when when it chases on, what am I supposed to do? Oh, we respawn back here. I hadn't realized that these count as a save. I hadn't noticed, I guess, when it was giving me the prompt. Okay, yeah, so it seems like what we have to do is make a note of where these things are. What I should have done, probably, is dive into this hole. But I didn't know it was actually actively chasing me. Still, I mean, once you get to running in the dark, what else can you do? It seems like the mechanics of that also were a little different. But it really doesn't seem like you can run for very long, and if you don't make the right call right away, you're dead. Do you hear that? Is that just soundtrack, or is there, like, the... F Faintest music. Stop that. That is the scariest sound ever that you could have chosen for that. But we're going to head back the same way. The reason I want to come this way is because this is all unexplored woods. And I want to know what's out here. I wonder, do, does soul residue stack? Like, if I were to lose my vitality, evaporate into a pile of ash... Would it just drop me, like, right where I was? Yeah, let me rephrase that, because that didn't make any sense now that I think about it. Would it drop all my soul residue on top of that pile, and the next person who finds it just wins the jackpot? Remember, we still have that issue of not knowing whether that thing's entirely scripted. It certainly shows up after we solve a puzzle. And I think we're going to have to enact a policy of not getting too invested in the puzzles and always keeping in mind where the next thing might be. 
Now, we have not been down this path before. Or at least we haven't saved at the save point. I'm just taking screenshots all over because I'm not going to be able to decide on a thumbnail. The imagery in this game is gorgeous. And I really like how they managed to make it feel like you're not constantly lost while still having, like, things around, you know? It's sparse, yet populated in the best way. There you go. There's a joke to be made about dental hygiene. Oh, great. Another deep hole in the earth for us to descend down. Kind of weird that I'm thinking about my office in the context of there's no place like home, but that's the situation we found ourselves in. And it seemed in the brief moment that I saw it that like this time he took the appearance of a rotting corpse. Is that maybe a different entity or are these all maybe like servants of this Lempo? People who know about this mythology must be laughing right now at all the things I'm getting wrong, but I really have no frame of reference. Yep, that's what I needed. What I really needed in my life was knee-high water. Because... Oh no, it's like we're literally sliding down its throat. I had a feeling that if I went forward, I wouldn't be able to return. But I knew I had to continue. Well, I suppose that's that then. Yeah. I'm surprised we're not sliding. Oh, these are actually stairs, albeit ones that are totally caked and turned into ramp by the mud that's flowed down here. And there is the ever-closing esophagus. The damp air mixed with the smell of mold made it hard to breathe. The passage got tighter and tighter on every step. I eventually had to crawl to get through. But I did get through. As the fresh air filled my lungs again, I was relieved at first. But then I realized I was still in the middle of a forest. A slightly different looking forest, but as lost as ever. Well, it seems like this battery isn't doing us any favors anymore. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to replenish the battery, which I have several. Ow. Uh, can I stand in your loving embrace? Yeah. I'm hearing some whispering as well, actually. I wonder if we will ever use this thing again. But over on the far side there... Yeah, this thing is totally dead now. That looks like some kind of bunker entrance. Alright, how do I use this stuff? Batteries, use... And we've got three more where that came from. Excellent. We're in the mouth of the beast now, but we can get out that way. No getting through here, unfortunately. That's a shame. I was curious to know what would be in there. Still in the forest, but maybe a different location? Oh. What is going on in the sky above? A letter. I'm not quite sure where we actually are. I can't identify if any of this is something new. Photo of a creature. I wouldn't want to be the person who took this photo. You're telling me. Uh, a letter from Grandfather describing something called this Metsenpeto. If you're reading this, I'm truly sorry. I hope I'm wrong and you never end up in here. But my gut tells me otherwise. And even if you're not who I think you are, you're going to need all the help you can get. I call this Metsin Peto, like in the old fairy tales. It literally translates to forest cover. I'm guessing you were in the woods when you suddenly noticed you're no longer where you thought you were. That's how I got here. 
you can't stay still reading for long, so I'll cut this short. There's a hideout of mine near here. East. Find it. Keep your guard up. It's not safe here. I've left you more info, but I need to scatter it so it doesn't put it together. I've also used different codes from time to time for the same reason. I don't know if it's enough, but I have to try. I have an escape plan, and I hope I'm not here anymore when you are. Maybe we can get you out the same way. Good luck. Grandfather. Strange. Who is this letter for? For me? If this is not a trick, I need all the help I can get. Possibly our grandfather? And that drawing at the beginning, it referred to a, a great-grandfather. Hang on. He really is great if he managed to get out of here. Cool birdbath. Can we do anything with it? 